So, to make your iPhone louder, go to Settings, Music, and find the equalizer. It's called EQ in the menu. The late night option will make your phone around 20% louder than it used to be. If you deal with signing many documents, this hack can help you sign them without printing or scanning. Take a snapshot of the document, then tap the screenshot to make edits. Tap the plus button in the right lower corner. Choose the signature button in the toolbar, and here we go! Sign your document with your finger and save the changes by pressing Done. And I'm done. To record a video without being noticed, go to Camera, start recording. Then go back to the Notification Center. The video will be recording, but it won't be seen on the screen. Well, that's sneaky. You can also create a unique vibration for any of your contacts. Go to Settings, then Sounds, and open the ringtone settings. iPhones are usually set to a default vibration, but you'll see the Custom section if you scroll down a bit. Tap any rhythm that you like and save it. You can save it for any of your contacts. <laughs> It'd be even cooler if you could make the actual person vibrate, but maybe that's a future update. If customized vibration isn't enough and you still miss your Aunt Tilda's calls, try to customize the flash. Turn it on as an additional notification for incoming calls. Go to General Settings, choose the Accessibility section, and head to Hearing. Turn on the LED flash for alerts. You'll never miss that call again. I know you must have dozens of tabs open in your browser, or maybe a hundred. To close them all in one touch, hold the Done button in the left lower corner and choose the Close All X tabs. I closed 242 last time. If you accidentally closed all the tabs and need to go back to some of the recent ones, hold the Plus button in the middle. It will open the list of recently closed tabs, so all you gotta do is scroll down to find the one you didn't want to close. Whenever you need to choose more than one icon, tap and hold one icon, and with another finger, add all the other icons that you need. Now this won't work if you have an iPhone 6 or older. The newest iPhones have a super convenient feature that helps you go from one application to another. Look at that line on the bottom of the screen. Slide left or right and find the app that you need. No more double-clicking and notification center. Your iPhone timer is much more useful than it seems. If you like falling asleep to your favorite music or to a YouTube video as I do, go to clock, tap the timer, and select the when the time ends section. Scroll down until you see the stop playing button. This feature shuts down all the media apps, such as music, windows that play sounds or videos, and even the YouTube app. Pretty handy if you've ever woken up at 3 a.m. in the middle of some random video that auto-played. We're all used to messengers, but iMessages are fun. Press the send button to add different wow effects to your message. The bubble section has four features. Invisible ink makes it impossible to read the message unless you wipe it with a finger. Slide the finger from right to left, back and forth to clear them. With the gentle effect, the letters seemed really tiny at the start, but they grow larger. The loud effect is the opposite. It makes the messages pop at the start, so they appear way larger, but the size goes back to normal in a few seconds. The slam effect speaks for itself. The message literally slams the screen. The screen effects button is fun too. For example, it has echo, so your friend's screen will be overwhelmed with echoing texts. Slide right for more, such as spotlight, balloons, confetti, love, lasers, fireworks, shooting star, and even celebration. There are many different effects, so there's definitely one for the touching text you're about to send. Hold the space button in the notes. This way, you can easily slide across the keyboard to get to any part of the text. If you like typing with one hand only, it's high time you set the right keyboard. While typing, hold the globe button. You probably never noticed these three keyboards before, but in fact, the one on the left is used when you type holding your phone in the left hand only. The one in the middle is if you hold it with both hands, and the one on the right is if you type holding the phone in your right hand. If you like writing long, romantic letters in your notes, 
but don't want anyone to read them, except the person, you know. Set a pass to your notes. There are two ways to do that, depending on what iPhone model you have. For iPhone 6, slide from right to left, and you'll see three icons, lock, folder, and bin. Use the bin if the romantic letter is terrible and the lock to protect it from peeking eyes. Set the pass, but make sure you actually remember it since you can't delete it. If this didn't work, just tap and hold the note itself, and you'll see the password bar in the drop menu. Set the pass, and from now on, nobody will know about the romantic letters to Jane that you're writing at night. The newest models of iPhone support the coolest feature ever. Now you can make a screenshot of the whole browser page in one file. To do this, press the volume up button at the same time as the power button. If you need to find a unique word combination while reading an online article, go to the search bar and type the word you're interested in. You'll see three sections – Google search – don't need it, bookmarks and history – don't need it, and on this page. Tap here. The word you need is going to be highlighted in yellow. Plus, there will be a special navigation bar on the bottom with arrows to quickly find the keyword. Now, don't forget to refresh your iPhone operative memory every now and again. It can help your device work better and faster. To do so, go to Settings, General, Accessibility, Assistive Touch, and turn it on. Press plus, then minus, and then the power button. You'll see the power off bar. Press the assistive touch and hold the home button. The operative memory is refreshed now. If you see the enter pass notification after you did it, it means you did it right. Give yourself a pat on the back. Assistive touch can also help you set new functions to simple tabs. Go to settings, general, accessibility, and in the assistive touch section, you can change any commands in the custom actions menu. I chose the screenshot for a double tab, since a home plus power button seems a bit inconvenient. To make a screenshot, tap the accessibility menu circle twice. The iPhone font has different sizes. To make it bigger or smaller, go to the display and brightness section in settings. Tap the text size and adjust it the way you like. iPhones may not have the most durable batteries, but they beat everyone when it comes to photo quality. Turn on the grid in the camera settings, go to General, choose Camera, to enable the grid that can help you make better compositions. By the way, people with iPhones don't need a separate app for QR readers, since all iPhones have them built in. Turn on the camera and point to the code. You'll see the pop-up window on top of the screen. Tap the window, and you'll go straight to the browser to whatever link the QR code had. If it doesn't work, enable the Scan QR Codes function in camera settings. You can actually set any song you like for the alarm clock. Go to Alarm and press Edit in the right upper corner. Tap the alarm where you want to change the melody. In the Sound section, choose Pick a Song and go for any song added to your library. Disclaimer: Your best love song will probably turn into your most hated song a couple of days after setting it for your alarm. One of the most hated problems of all iPhone users is when you run out of memory. Even if you delete photos, there's still not enough space. Go to Settings, iPhone Storage, and make sure that recently deleted photos are actually deleted. If not, delete them in the storage sections. Note that your messages can contain massive files too, so you can restrict how long the message can be stored. In the message history, tap the Keep Messages button. It's forever by default, but you can keep them for one year or even only 30 days. Have fun with that!